you want to talk about twisting reality, twisting history, twisting the facts, oh, nobody's going to do it better than Virginia Fox. Republican Congresswoman uh, from North Carolina, the claims she's about to make are unreal. Okay, so let's watch clip number four here. And, you know, uh, she's going to come in and get challenged by uh, Democratic uh, Congressman anyway, and he's going to begin, uh, Cardoza is his name, he's from California. He's going to begin to correct, the, correct the misimpressions. But I want to go to a more fundamental truth, too, after this clip. Let's, let's watch. You know, from the almost the very first day when I came here, I heard my colleague from Oregon blaming George Bush for everything insufficient in this country. That, was, that started in 2005, and he's still doing that, just like uh, many of our colleagues here. But the uh, Democrats in charge can't hide from the fact that they now control the House, the Senate, and the White House. And what are they doing to solve the problems? Very little. I want to say that the sponsor of the bill actually brought up this issue uh, that our, our friends across the aisle are trying to say now is our issue. But uh, unfortunately, the sponsor of the bill has been helped to change his mind on the issue by the Democrats in charge because it suits uh, their purposes more. And actually, the GOP has been the leader in starting good environmental programs in this, in this country, uh, just as we were the people who passed the civil rights bills back in the 60s without very much help from our colleagues across the aisle. They love to engage in revisionist history. Gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in the seven years that I've been here and the years that I've watched this Congress beforehand, I sometimes watch the floor and I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't believe my ears. Today, what I'm hearing on the floor really takes the cake. The gentlelady from North Carolina in her statement just now indicated that the Republican GOP had passed the Civil Rights Act legislation with almost no help from the Democrats. I can't believe my ears. It was the Kennedy and Johnson administration where we passed that great society legislation. It was over the objections of people like Jesse Helms from the gentlewoman state that we passed that civil rights legislation. John Lewis, would, would no, I will yield? not yield. John Lewis, a member of this house, was beaten on the Edmund Pettus Bridge to get that civil rights legislation passed. Tell John Lewis that he wasn't part of getting that legislation passed. I sometimes cannot believe what I hear on this House floor. And I will tell you today that I will stand by these statements, and I am very proud of what my party has done to advance civil rights legislation in the United States of America. I reserve the balance of my time. Now, Virginia Fox came on, and to be fair to her, and said, look, Jesse Helms didn't come into Congress until 1972, so he wasn't there for the vote. Uh, but what Congressman Cardozo was saying was people like Jesse Helms. And would Jesse Helms have voted for the Civil Rights Act? Hell no, not under any circumstances. And I don't think Jesse Helms would deny that for a second. Okay, so now, but let's get to the real outrage in what she's saying. Now, is there some uh, kernel of truth in what she's saying? Yes, actually, Nixon uh, did a lot of the uh, environmental legislation that we know now, and of course he was a Republican, right? But the Republican Party moved away from that, and they said, hey, you know what, that was the wrong way to go, now we're going to fight uh, environmental legislation, and they've been doing that for the last 30 years. So it's like what they do with Lincoln. Oh, the party of Lincoln. Well, he's the one that freed the slaves. Back then, the Republican Party was the liberal party. So it's comical to now come out and pretend it, you know, uh, that Abraham Lincoln was somehow conservative when he freed the slaves. No, he was a liberal when he freed the slaves. Back then, the parties were to some degree reversed. Now, Nixon's no one's liberal, right? But uh, in terms of some of the domestic policy, including the EPA, yes, he went in the right direction. Then conservatives got mad at him, and then they decided, let's not go in that direction anymore. Now, if Virginia Fox was to come out and say, hey, you know what, Nixon was right, and we've decided we're going to embrace environmental legislation going forward, well, all right, then, okay, then we're having a conversation. But what she's trying to do is trick you. Now, when it comes to civil rights legislation, perfect example. 
she says a lot of Republicans voted for the civil rights bill. They did, right? Now, but what happened right afterwards, and, and that's what actually hurt the Democrats in the South. They had a, a lock uh, on voting in the South, the Democrats did, and then a lot of them joined uh, in uh, d getting the civil rights bill passed. Why? Because a Democratic administration, Kennedy and then eventually and ultimately Johnson, pushed for it, and they pushed and pushed the Democrats. And afterwards, and this is the critical part, the part she's leaving out, which then totally perverts the whole story. The Republicans decided to go with the quote unquote Southern strategy. And they thought, you see that? The Democrats left the mantle of racism behind. We can pick it up and run with it. Let's go to the right of the Democrats on this issue. Let's be more conservative them on them on this issue. A lot of the Republicans that voted for the Civil Rights Bill were in the North and they were liberal Republicans. Let's get rid of those guys and let's run for going forward against civil rights legislation. They reoriented their whole party. The Southern strategy was at the core of their efforts. But I'm not the one to tell you this. Number one, every single person uh, that's in politics knows that the Southern strategy is what the Republican Party decided to do after the Civil Rights Bill. Number two, the head of the Republican Party, Ken Melman, when Bush was president, came out and apologized to the NAACP for their Southern strategy, where they decided, hey, we can get those votes that used to go for Democrats if we're more racist in the South than they are. Now Virginia Fox comes out and pretends the current day Republican Party uh, would, you know, was more of a champion of civil rights and has always been and is now more so than the Democrats. Well, that's a joke. And what she's trying to do is trying to trick you. She's trying to appeal to the uh, conservatives in the South, like, we're on your side. L wink, wink, wink. Don't worry about it. And then come out and say, whoa, 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 we, you know, some Republicans voted for the Civil Rights Bill back in 1964. As usual, it's a fraud. And don't buy into the hype. I can't believe she has the nerve to go out there and pretend that the Republicans are in favor of civil rights and have been for the last 30, 40, 50 years, and that they've been in favor of stronger environmental legislation. That's nothing but a joke. Okay. So there's Virginia Fox for you. And, and, but she's not alone, by the way. This is a Republican strategy. They throw it out every once in a while. They'll talk about, oh, what are you talking about? Civil rights bill. We made it happen. She, oh, yeah, freed the slaves, party of Lincoln, etc. That strategy is meant to confuse you. We run the clips uh, on radio ads that they ran in largely black uh, urban areas in the country. During election time, they have these comical ads. I, Jay, I don't know if you have any of them saved where two black women will be talking to one another and they'll say absurd things like, hey girl, you know something? The Republicans are the ones that freed us. And you're like, oh no, please stop, please, right? And, and did you know that they supported Martin Luther King and the Democrats were against him? And you're like, oh please, please make the pain stop. But they go with this BS to try to trick both sides. So don't, don't believe the hype. Watch more clips at theyoungturks.com.